this is the time where Aubrey Drake Graham took half a Zan and played a full game of basketball. The story begins in the eighth grade. Young Drake must compete for a position on his middle school basketball team. His boy Spinner is heading to class, but Drake knows that ball is life, so he's gonna get some shots up instead. Drake walks into class late as fuck, and his teacher has a problem immediately. His teacher doesn't know potential when she sees it, so she is really trying to press Drake right now over reading some dumbass book. And now, I want it to be noted that to this day, Drake has zero Lord of the Fly references, so this book really wasn't imperative to his life. Miss Kwan decides she wants to start asking him all types of questions about Lord of the Flies and who do you relate to and whatnot. And Drake gets that shit wrong as fuck while being as confident as can be. She thinks he's dumb, so now at least they're on the same page. Drake finally decides to read and it's during basketball trials, so I'm not sure that he has his priorities straight at this point. Just do that shit like homework since it is homework. All right, Lord of the Flies is only like 200 pages, dog. Or like, read during lunch or before school or something. Or just cheat, like get cliff notes maybe, I don't know. Like his heart is in the right place, but I don't think he really has a plan. Now, Spinner being the good friend that he is, decides to give him an actual plan. Pop this pill and you'll accomplish everything you've ever dreamed of. To clarify, this isn't actually a Zan. That would have been really wild to watch a dude play a game of basketball on his hand. I looked it up on YouTube. This is more of an address, if you know what I'm saying. Aubrey plays cool, but he's clearly freaking the fuck out. He finds that courage and he asks Spinner to give him the pill. He runs to the hallway to knock this bitch down with no water. Drake is skied the fuck up. He's ready to type six papers back to back and dominate all goals in front of him. Unfortunately, Spinner, who really needs the Addy, is lost on the road to a life of registration on a list. Drake changes from the young juice box poppy to the Adderall Admiral and hangs 40 on the other team's head like he was playing for the Bulls in the 80s. With the clock winding down, the ball is in someone else's hand. As the best player on the floor, Graham sees this as disrespect. Now in an upper-induced rage, he went out and injured that hater. While standing over the scallywag, rolling in hateration, Drake knocks down that game winner and lets everyone know that's all, all me for real. What the hell am I reading? The euphoric feeling of the overproduction of serotonin from the uppers has Drake so excited for his Michael Jordan impersonation that he didn't realize that he was actually doing the assaulting his team moment of his career. The coach thinks Drake is a fiend and he is not willing to bet the face of the franchise on that. He's cut. This was the bottom. Now he's fucking here. Okay.